Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I want to talk about resistance to healing. And resistance is required for healing. Now, I'm going to give you another little example of, of resistance this morning. It's snowing again, and you can see the tire tracks going down the mountain there. It's because I needed to take the car down to the bottom of the hill before it got too snowy. And if I hadn't got going on that, it wouldn't have been too much longer that there's no way I could have taken the car down. It would have been too slick. Now, to prevent the car from sliding down the hill, obviously I needed to apply the brakes. That's the resistance you've got to get from point A over there to point B healed and healing down this journey down the hill but if you just let it go you'll go too fast and you'll wreck so you have to have some resistance and I've noticed resistance with myself in all different ways the other night, Jay Leno resisted crying on his last night of The Tonight Show. But he let a little bit out. Now, that's emotional resistance. <clears throat> now, right now, my muscles are so tight in certain places. My shoulder, typically a bad place for me, for different reasons, like sleeping on my left side just in case, so that I can digest water or if there's any food left over it'll digest while I'm lying on my left side a friend of mine taught me that LSD, left side down <clears throat> but my body keeps tightening up because recently I got rid of chocolate whenever you get rid of something completely then your body is going to have all these withdrawals and it'll get to a certain point of where it can no longer handle that much withdrawal and it'll start to resist and not only will you physically resist healing but you will also mentally resist healing as in like denial <laughs> And so you may just completely deny something, even if you know within your spirit that it's true. Now, I would say that spiritual resistance to healing is probably the worst of all of them. And that's when you just flat out do things that are unethical not righteous and somehow we have to connect with the divine through all of this with a, no matter what kind of resistance we may have to our healing we have to somehow connect with that greater spirit whatever you like to call it to uh, ask for the answers ask for help. Now yesterday a friend of mine from YouTube that I've talked with many times called me exactly when I needed it. Amazing. Amazing. Why? Because I asked for it. You see, it doesn't matter what kind of healing that you're doing you have to make the effort whether it be massage or getting some help from creation and so if you really want to live that's the deal You've gotta make the effort so I want to thank you for joining me and if you're doing well cool keep on that track but remember that there will be a, a day that, that you're not doing so well and I hope that you'll remember all these tools 
that I've been teaching you for the last several years. And, you know, I don't always talk about the same things. I've never talked about this particular aspect of healing, I don't believe. And so there are like over 600 videos, and I recommend that you go back and watch them because sometimes I channel some good stuff. Thanks for joining me. If uh, you'd like to support me and also get a fantastic product from me, click on the link right there and I'll hook you up.